I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the drive home to Hawkesbury where I believe every home has a story and I love sharing those stories on real estate in the Hawkesbury with you. Here we share the best ways to add value to your property, how to avoid the common mistakes people make when buying and selling property and how to get the maximum return on your investment with a focus on supporting local business. I live love Hawkesbury and can't wait to get into today's episode with you so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening depending on what time you're listening to this video. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the drive home to Hawkesbury and today I wanted to talk to you about a topic of settlements. Anybody that is buying a house or uh, selling a house they've always got to have that final day where it all comes together and money's transferred and either you're buying the house or you've finalised the sale of the house. That settlement is usually on one particular day that's been booked in by the conveyances or your solicitor. They have settlement clerks in town that generally attend on your behalf. So as a buyer, you don't need to attend to the actual settlement, but you do need to speak to your real estate agent that you're purchasing the house through to ensure that you go and have a look at that house prior to. You wanna make sure that everything is exactly the way that you saw it the day that you looked at purchasing and the day that you put the deposit down on the house. So for example, we have one the other day where the owners had moved out but that had removalists come in and look at removing the furniture out of the house for these owners. Now the owners uh, for all intents and purposes did the right thing and had the removalists do this but unfortunately the removalist wasn't that careful in what they were doing and they removed the washing machine without turning the taps off which created a little bit of a flood which luckily enough it was in um, the back area of the laundry which was all concreted so there was just water coming out onto the the actual cupboard but what we needed to do is just check that there wasn't any damage to the property so by having that final inspection on the day of the settlement it's much better for the buyer and and also for the owner because you want to make sure that everything is right for both parties before you complete that settlement um, so that that situation was averted I was able to turn the taps off that hadn't been turned off by the the removalist which is fairly simple we isolated the problem uh, let the owners know, let the buyers know once they're on site and um, everything was you know, a good result for all parties. So in that circumstance, if it hadn't have been a positive result and say for example there was damage or water damage or something that had happened, you'd contact your solicitor or conveyancer as a purchaser or as a seller and say look this is the situation, what do you recommend? And generally speaking they keep some sort of funds in the trust account as a potential um, a hold or a bond just in case there's some sort of problem that needs to be fixed that there's an agreed price on what that may be or a reduction in the price so it really as I say depends on each individual circumstance but it's um, it can be sorted out as long as the communication works well with everybody and um, and I've always found it's been positive experience for people as long as you're all on the same page so I just wanted to touch base in regards to that in regards to the settlement as I say the buyer and the seller you don't need to attend the actual settlement date the settlement is held generally in town and that's booked in by your conveyance or solicitor so the only things that you need to do is collect the keys the fun stuff collect the keys from the real estate agent when the settlement has gone through and also as the buyer um, you'll be contacted by your real estate agent and also from your um, conveyancer or solicitor in that regard they will help you with that process and equally the owner will be contacted by the agent and their conveyancer sometimes the conveyancer will call the purchaser first um, um, and we usually get what they call an order on the agent from the conveyancer or solicitor in that matter so that, that confirms that we're able to hand over the keys to the new owner and it's all been settled um, before we can do that so it's a positive experience for everybody I always love settlement day it's an exciting day for both the the seller and also for the buyer because the buyer moves into the dream house that they've been wanting the sellers actually sold their house closed the chapter on the book on that one but going into probably another property um, the other thing that can happen on settlement days too is a simultaneous settlement so often what you'll find is you have three four five settlements that are all reliant on one another so the buyer may be buying a house the money that's put down on the house that they're buying that seller is buying another house and the 
the whole process starts again with the other ones. So it's really interesting to see how it all comes together. But if you get the right advice, if you need any help in regards to which per, uh, which conveyancer or which solicitor to use, we've got any number of people that we can tap into in the Hawkesbury that are most helpful. And even abroad, if there's other areas that you're looking at going into and you're not too sure, always happy to help. In regards to settlement, if you've got any questions, um, you know, I'm here for you and uh, we've done it many times over the years for different people with the settlements. So we're happy to help you as well. Anyway, that's it from me today. Thank you very much for listening. I really look forward to hearing all your questions and um, so I can add some more to the next video that we put together for you. But uh, great to catch up with you and we'll talk to you again on the next episode. See you later. Thank you so much for taking time out listening to today's episode. If you have any questions on the process of buying, selling, leasing or strata management, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word by liking and sharing this episode with your family and friends. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of the Drive Home to Hawkesbury.